and then from localize it. And in this video, we are going to have a look at the duplicity linking feature. We're going to talk about what the duplicities actually are. Why is it desirable to resolve them? How you can resolve them with localize it and how to make use of the translations of duplicate values. I'm going to use this sample project uh, to demonstrate that. We have three English JSON files here. The, in the first one, we have three source keys, cancel, save, and next. In the other one, we have cancel and next. And in the last one, we have save and next. So although we have a total of seven source keys, we only have three unique values. So the duplicities are source keys with the duplicate values as other source keys elsewhere in your project. Now, there are two main reasons why is it desirable to resolve duplicities. First, translation consistency. Since these source keys are just duplicates, it's desirable that they are translated in the same manner. However, when you translate them individually, it can very well happen that translators translate them differently. The second reason is to reduce translation costs. When translators translate the same content multiple times, it takes more of their time and that costs you more money. When you resolve duplicities, it means that they will only have to translate unique values once and therefore you save money on translations. The more languages you have, the bigger the impact is. To resolve duplicities, you have basically two options how to do that. First, you can resolve them at source. In this case, that would mean that we would uh, get rid of these duplicate source keys in the dashboard and settings folder and only use source keys from the common folder. However, if this project was larger and more complex, it would be tricky to hunt down all the references to the uh, source keys from the duplicate uh, files. And it could very well happen that we will forget some, miss some, and that would make the way to production. But it would still be doable. However, with many sources, such as content management systems like Trappy or Storyblock, it's almost impossible to resolve duplicities at source. For instance, when you have the same value in multiple collections in Strapi or in different uh, instances or entries in, in the collection, it's almost impossible to resolve that. So, Localize is there to resolve them later on with help of the Localize's duplicity linking feature. And let's have a look at that right now. So first of all, let's upload our content to Localize. When I refresh this page, uh, you can see that uh, there, is, there, are seven source key, there are seven keys to be translated in German and there are many duplicate values. When I navigate to the languages list overview, you can notice that there is a label that states that there are 57% of duplicate source keys. When you click on that, it will take you to the external portal, which we call the Localized Developer Console. And in here, we can see that next occurs uh, in three source keys. Cancel exists twice and save also exists twice. So let's resolve each of these. Click on edit and choose how to handle that. I'm going to, I'm going to make the next source key, which uh, originates in the common, common folder. I'm going to make it source for unresolved source keys. What that means is that this source key is, will become something like a master source key and the other instances will be linked to this, to this source key. And all the translations uh, for the master source key will be reused for the linked source keys. Let's do the same for the remaining instances, always making the one from the common folder the master source key. And then when I navigate back to my project and go to the German lang uh, language overview, we can now only see three source keys. Those three source keys are the master source keys that I made, and the translators will only see these master source keys and will only need to trans translate these three unique values. So let's do that with use of machine suggestions. I'll just quickly uh, use the suggested values for each one of these 
And when I do that and go back to the languages list overview, I'll see that my three source keys have been translated and the language has been fully translated. Now, to make use of the translations, uh, I'll go back to my project and run the localized download command. And this will create three German files with translations for me. In the common folder, we have our three uh, master source keys with translations, but we also have translations for the link source keys, for dashboard and for settings. So although the translators provide the translations only three times, we, we have translations for all these seven source keys. Naturally, this was only a small sample, but if I had a larger project with multiple languages, or if I used a content management system where duplicities are very common, you can imagine that I would save a lot of time and money on translations, since I wouldn't need to translate the duplicate values. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.